Welcome, and today's subject is growing up with a narcissistic parent. I know that I grew up with two narcissistic parents, and boy, was that a mess. And maybe you um, have or know someone who has a narcissistic parent. And so we're going to go over some of the things that children go through because of their narcissistic parents, you know? So I'm going to first read to you what children go through, okay? So children who grow up with narcissistic parents tend to suffer from at least some of the following as children and as well into adults, okay? We have to take time to fix what's wrong with us, like, for example, narcissistic parents. So anxiety. Do you find yourself having some anxiety? I know some people that do. Depression, that's another thing that you could have because of these foolish parents, all right? So uh, low self-esteem, self-doubt, those things. Self-blame, right? Maybe you find having yourself some of these traits. Maybe all these, these traits, I don't know. You know you. Indecisions, right? Right? Uh, people pleasing tendencies, right? Right? Okay. Difficulties with emotional intimacy, very bad because you came from a narcissistic parent. All right. And um, also codependency in your relationship. So, in other words, you're a mess, right? <laughs> Just like I was a mess. Anyways, I remember when I first joined the military back in like 19 years old. They gave you a psych eval, and um, for some odd reason, somehow, I can't remember, um, I got a hold of my psych eval. And, you know, one of the things that said there, and it was several pages, but the thing that really stuck out the most to me was narcissist. And I'm thinking, no way, not me. How? Right? And so that really started... Uh, the road for me to recover from some of these tendencies okay it takes a long time but you have to start sooner or later all right so i have this article that we're going to go into and we're going to touch on some of these subjects so it makes sense to you okay because this is a channel where you're going to uh, also listen to topics like abuse neglect maybe some sexual abuse peppered in there and things like that you know why because those are the things that i went through in my childhood and you know it takes a long time to get rid of some of these codependency and other issues that i just mentioned just a little bit ago in the video so let's continue with the article okay so problems because of narcissistic parents all right my parents are still narcissistic and um um I don't think they see that they have any problems, but hey, whatever, what do I know, right? So while you may have heard of narcissistic individuals before, you might not realize just how much of an impact they can have on their children, like I just mentioned, right? Growing up with narcissistic parents can be increasingly and incredibly challenging, all right? And it's in, in its experience that can leave lasting scars. We know those, right? Some scars on a person's emotional and psychological well-being. We've all done that, right? So common traits, all right? I'm gonna go into these lightly and I'll continue. All right, so common traits. The first one, grandiosity, okay? Narcissistic individuals tend to have an in, inflated sense of self-importance right right they may believe that they are more talented intelligent or successful than others it's all in their head and may expect special treatment as a result they're a bunch of babies okay narcissistic people have gone through abuse that's what narcissistic abuse is that's what this is abuse Okay, lack of empathy. We know that, right? Me, 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 me. Uh, I caused you pain, but what about your beautiful mother? Blah, blah, blah. It's all about you, right? Anyways, lack of empathy. One of the hallmarks of a narcissistic personality disorder 
is a lack of empathy for others. Narcissistic, narcissistic individuals may struggle to understand and care about other people's feelings. We know that, right? Right? If you've suffered with narcissistic parents, right? Right? All right. Give me a like, share, whatever to help this channel out because this is what we're going to be talking about here. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Need for admiration. Okay. Narcissistic individuals often crave attention and admiration from others. You see, if you're a charismatic person, and you run into these narcissistic people and they're your bosses, boy, they will hate you. They, these people will, will do uh, all sorts of things, all sorts of plotting and scheming to get a building up people to get rid of you. That's how these people are. They, they like you, but then they don't like you. And then they, they think that they get over on you because they did these things behind your back and, and they're like, oh, look what I did. Yeah, but you're not man enough to face me face to face. So you have to be a coward and do these things behind my back. And then you're like, I did this. And I'm like, big fucking deal. Wham. Anyways, manipulation. We know this. All right. Manipulation. Narcissistic individuals may be skilled at manipulating others and get what they want. They may be they may charm you with flattery or even intimidation to get others to comply with their schemes and plots and craziness. Difficulty with criticism. Boy, you criticize these people, they're like children. They're like eight-year-olds. Narcissistic individuals may struggle to handle criticism or negative feedback. Wham. So you can't self-soothe. What a grown-up, right? They may become defensive or angry when confronted with their mistakes or shortcomings. And guess what? If we make mistakes, I have failed in many things in my life. And guess what? We keep going because that's what life's about. What are you going to do? Be stuck where, you know, in the past because someone said this about you or that. Those are just words. If people say you are this or that, who cares? That doesn't mean it's true. People say a lot of things about me. I really don't care. This is coming from people that aren't doing anything with their lives. So who cares what they say? So emotional neglect, you know, you've been through some neglect, right? Cause your mom wasn't available. Your dad wasn't either, right? Cause uh, you know, um, they're both narcissistic people. Anyways, narcissistic parents may be so focused on their own needs and decisions that may neglect their children's emotional needs. You know, like extracurricular activities like my mother. You know, other men in her life and so on. The same thing for my father, okay? And guess what? I was doing the same thing. So I get it. I'm also talking to myself. So I'm not just throwing shade that way. I know it's coming back this way because I used to do those things. I no longer do those things. Children of narcissistic parents may feel like their feelings or opinions don't matter, right? Can you relate, right, right? Right. So, or that their parents are uninterested in their lives. Invalidation. Narcissistic parents may dismiss or invalidate their children's feelings or experiences. All right. Enmeshment. E-N-M-E-S-H-E-N-T. Narcissistic parents may try to control their children's lives and prevent them from developing their own uh, identities. And that's so true. I knew a girl once named Adrian, and she was up in Austin. I live in Texas. Anyways, she was up in Austin and her mom controlled everything up to her bank account. I'm like, sweetheart, I was like 30 at the time. Sweetheart, what's going on? Right? Right? Your mom's in charge of your bank account? You're a grown woman. You have your own child. And your mom's still holding you by the hand. But whatever, it's none of my business. I'm just saying that's what that was. And I've experienced it in my life as well. So, anyways, neglect and overindulgence. I know I used to do that too. Okay? I used to neglect my partners. Okay? So, guess what? I've been there. I've recovered. So there's hope for you too. 
Narcissistic parents may swing between neglect, neglecting their children's needs and overindulging and overindulging them. They may use gifts or favors to manipulate their children, to gain favor, to be the best parent. And, and have their kids see them in a different light, even though she or he may be intolerable, okay? We know people like that, right? And coping mechanisms, growing up with narcissistic parents can be difficult, but there's a way to cope with the effects of, experience, of the experiences, okay? So seeking therapy will be one way. Okay, how I did it was obviously was self-reflection. You know, uh, uh, I listened to feedback. I asked people what they thought, my, obviously my close friends, and they said, you need to do this and you need to do that to change this because you're this and you're that. You know, you know narcissistic parents. So I was somewhat like your parents to a degree because I was like my parents to a degree because you know hurt people hurt people okay so you are watching my watching my sh my show called karmic tv where we're going to be talking about things that bad things that happen to people because it happened to me and it might have hap might have happened to you as well so wherever you are and wherever you see this video i hope you're having a great time and i hope that today and tomorrow you can make better choices than what you did yesterday. Because I try to get 1% better every day because that's what we have to do as people to recover from our narcissistic parents. So I will see you in a letter video.